Hello friends and future friends, I am Shrewboy313 and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we... oh, what did we do in the last episode? I mean we saved... I think we saved this... well we didn't save this group of punies, but we saved the Elder. And we got the blue key. Basically whichever key wasn't used to get the Elder out, the other coloured one we got that one, so... I don't rem I'll be honest, I don't remember where the, like, where the other, what is it? Where the other ca- like, where the cages were? I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> hey, there we go. We can save the rest of the punies. It oh, we've left one of them behind. Uh, let me just count them here. One, two, three, f I can't tell. I'm assuming one of them's punio. I'm gonna assume that the one that we've lost is punio. <laughs> Wee! Big Brother! And Mario has a boob directly on his face. Little Petuni, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, Big Brother, I have something. F I love it, like, a I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last episode, but. Like, other than Petuni, Punio, Puniper, and the Elder. None of the other punies look any different. They are all exactly the same. They're just interchangeable amorphous blobs. <laughs> oh, it was icky, wasn't it, big brother? I'm sorry. No, not uh, at all. Mm, delicious. Very yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. <laughs> hey, quit it, Punio. Don't get all mushy. Mushy just like that mushroom should have been, Petuni. Aw, oh, it was nothing. Hey, there we go, we've got all the punies back. Right. So what we need to do... Oh, that's not where we need to be. What we need to do is head to... I don't remember where it was, but... <laughs> this is just like a recurring theme in the Great Tree. I don't remember where anything is. But like, you know where, um, what is it? Those soap bubbles were that we like pushed the punies in and like blew them across. <laughs> you know, to get them to the place where the jabbies were. Like where we went right and I said we had to go left. Like we have to get there and go left, essentially. I just don't remember where that is. I think it's here. I think it's where I'm, yes, it's here, right. So we prop them in there, blow as many of them, oh wow, move forward a little bit, hopefully that will be a good position, I'm hoping. Hey, there we go, then we can do that, we still have nine, oh I was about to say, why do we still have nine of them with us? Right, and just for a second I'll just jam those in there, I don't remember whether there was anything down here, I feel like there may have been. Okay. Sorry, I was just looking at how many star pieces and shine sprites we had. Is there anything there? There isn't. Um, here. Yeah, nope, that's fine. There's nothing there. Then let us head back up over there. Because, I mean, the punies are still held in place with the orb. So we can just grab them and go down the pipe. Oh, gosh. Oh, good. They're all still with us. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Mm, is this the right place? A Right, now this is where the shine sprite was and the two, yeah, the two plane platforms. So if we head down here and across... Oh, there's a piranha plant in here, isn't there? The piranha plants, I think. Oh, the, well, there were. And you know, I still don't know whether... I don't think, like, Flurry can, like, touch spiked enemies because... There we go, this is where we needed to be because I believe she... Obviously, she makes direct contact with them. And I can see that Pider and that... Alright, Mario's fallen. Cool. <laughs> right. What I was... What was I gonna say? I don't remember. Right. I saw that Pider is what I was going for. So let's get Goombella out and see if we can't just take it out. No, it is too far away. So we're gonna have to hit it with Coops. Oh, gosh. Right, there we go. So I think my plan for this area is take out all the enemies first, and then gather up the punies. Right, um... 
I will just switch out Goombella just because she does more damage. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have, like, tried to jump for the Pyder, but I don't know whether I can do that. Oh, gosh. Right, there we go. Goombella. Oh, no. There we go, and there. Nice. Right, so... <laughs> Like I say, I just want to take out all of the enemies first before they come for, like, before we try and get to the next jabby area. And I'm just going to apologise now because uh, we have to, like, take on another set of jabbies. But that means the, what do you may call it, the, that uh, just means that the, uh, the alarm is going to be playing again. <laughs> You know that one that annoyed me so badly last time? <laughs> right. Now for the sake of healing, I don't remember how many, like, what items we've- Ooh. Yeah. And I can live without those coins. Right, Coops, here we go. Aha. Ooh. And what's that? Damage dodge- um, Damage dodge partner. Nah. <laughs> Just, nah. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again, right. I mean, we've dropped all the punies at least, so... <laughs> at least in dropping all of the... Oh my gosh. There's four of the blighters, right. Oh. <sighs> that Thunder Rage we picked up, that hits all of them, right? There we go. <laughs> just because I don't... There we go, perfect. Just because I didn't want to spend, you know, too much time just screwing around. <laughs> I just wanted to get it done. Right. Cool. Oh, I can live without that flower. And is that everything? Yep, that's everything. So let's... Hey, there's coins here as well. And the flower. Cool. Right. Hey, punies. Hey, other punies. Oh, we've got them all. Nice. Right, so I just want to hop to that. Just save... I mean, we've taken out all the enemies, got that badge. I don't really think I want to use a damage dodge badge for anyone. Because, I mean, the damage damage dodge requires you to be skilled, something I am not. And why did I get Goombella out? We need Flurry out again, I just remembered. <laughs> right. I mean, one good thing about these punies is, at least... Like, at least they don't just fall off on their own. The AI is essentially glued to the path. That is one thing I do appreciate. <laughs> but yes, prepare for my least favourite part of this. Oh, this this alarm isn't as loud as the other one. Okay, I can live with that. This alarm, it's, it's an annoying sound, but it's not as loud as the other one, so I'm fine with this. Right, but yes. Everyone, it's the Jabbies. It's a 100 Jabby Squadron. <laughs> uh, charge! Cool, let's just blast them away, shall we? Oh, we've lost- we're losing punies! Actually, it looks like we're doing alright. Oh, I, maybe I spoke too soon. I can't tell how we're doing, I'll be honest. Yeah, it looks like we won- oh, we won. <laughs> we beat them! We KO'd every last jabby here! Now let's destroy the High Fortress. So, like, I get why, like, I get why there's a high fortress here, because, like, the punies say they did live, like, live in the tree with the jabbies and the piders, so you'd think that'd be fine. I don't entirely understand, oh, there's piranhas here. You know what, no, let's actually see if Flurry can. Hey, and that is what Flurry does in the field. I was going to say, I want to see if Flurry can actually touch them. Alright. I mean, at the very least, I can take out one of them this turn, so that's something at least. Right. Whee! Right, that's that down. Let's see if Flurry can actually touch them. I don't think she can. No, she can't. Right, that's fine. And I'll be honest, now that we are... a <laughs> Oh, rocks. Nope, get out of there. <laughs> Same at that screen. And just for the sake of time, let's just use a power smash. Right, so... I believe... I believe that that is all we need Flurry for in this area. 
And like, because none of my other partners are powered up, I want to, you know, just get Goombella back out just because she has more power. Right. So let's just bung all the punies in there for whatever reason. And then let's, I guess, just explore. Hello. Right, I'm just going to get Coops out for, <laughs> for preparation. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's four of the blighters, right? Have I got my Earth Tremor charged up? No, so let's just use Coops to appeal and get the star power back up. There we go. And then let's just use Earth Tremor to take him out in one turn. <laughs> I mean, I could have used Coops' power shell, but eh. That would have still meant that two of them got to attack and I didn't want to chance that. So, I mean, why take an extra two damage when I don't need to? Sim Oopsie, I screwed that up monumentally. That's only going to do like three or four damage, isn't it? Oh, four. Perfect. Cool. Right, and we're up to 52 star points, so just over halfway. Uh, money, money. Right. Oh, is there something behind this pipe? There is. Hell, I was about to say that was well placed. I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Huh. Alright. Structure is complicated. We're only going to move with the help of the punies. And we're going to need our thinking caps. Right, uh, can we blow the wall off? Right, so, um... Right, let's go gather the punies back and put them in that one. <laughs> See if that does anything. Right, and I'll be honest, I've only, like, not really been using Flurry that much because her attack takes a while to charge up as well, and only for two damage, I don't think... For the time, it's not really worth it. <laughs> Basically, it's just because I'm a lazy pile of garbage and I left some of the punies behind, I just realised. We just... How did they get stuck there? <laughs> Alright. But yeah, to me, I'm not really a fan of this music. Oh, I've left some of... Oh, no, I haven't. I was about to say, I'm not really a fan of this music either. Just this area in general, I'm not a fan of. And we... Hey, there we go. That's something. Uh. Huh? What just happened? B -b -ho -ho. Hey, Crump. Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone on those pedestals, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. Buh, buh, buh. Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb it hurts. Anyway, with you falls out the picture, I can take my time hunting the stars. Cool, you take your time. Because, I mean, I can just go paper thin and escape with flurry. <laughs> Mario, what are we going to do? We have to find a way out of here, but what can we do? Right, does the... Okay, that'll gather them back up in... The... You know what, let's just take the orb. We'll give them their freedom. Hey, I did it. <gasps> My, such wonderful drama. I imagine we have to do something now, don't we? Mario, think of something. Okay, bye, Flurry. <laughs> I thought she was just going to chill in there, to be honest. Right. Pardon me a moment. Don't these old columns look somewhat familiar? Yes, they are downstairs. They were like all the way downstairs somewhere. So it's Sun, Moon, Puny Star. That's what we need to- Oh, I feel I might swoon. I Oh, I feel I might swoon. What was that? So it's Sun, Moon, Puny Star. Oh, and another star piece. Right. And I don't remember where the where they were last like where the other ones were, but like there was another set of them. There was another set of like those columns. And basically it was Sun, Moon, Puny Star. That is what I need to remember while I I say I'll probably just spend the rest of this episode just wandering around this tree looking for the uh Oh, look at that texturing on the back, just ja ja jaggering, janking around. Uh, was it down here, maybe? Or was this a shop? I think this was a shop. Yes, it was. 
Oh, you know what? Let's just buy a mystery for a little bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> just for fun. And you know what? Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, it recovers FP as well. I thought it just recovered hearts. Cool. Right. So I think it's just Goombella that... Oh, no. Oh, cool. Everyone's fully... Oh, does that heal everyone? Oh, that's awesome. Right. Cool. So everyone is fully healed when you use those blocks, huh? Ain't that cool. Right. Was it maybe over this side? Because, like I say, I don't exactly remember where they were. <laughs> And at this point, it is just me aimlessly wandering around the tree. Hence why I'm not really a big fan of this area. Oh, found them. So it's Sun, Moon, Puny, Star that we need to make them. So. Oh. Sun, Moon. Uh, <laughs> come on. Puny. And then Star. There we go. Sun, Moon, Puny, Star. That's what we needed. And then, the, then they peel away, revealing a hidden passage. Oh, hidden. Nice. Love the drama. <laughs> a nice big chest. Is there anything behind it? Nope. Um, doesn't look like there's anything around, so let's open this huge chest and get the super boots. Yeah. Mario, technically Mario's first upgrade. Hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up jump attacks. And you'll be able to use a, u t and use a new technique, so let's practice it. If you press A right at the, at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything. So, basically a ground pound. You can do a ground pound. Wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Do not wish to try again, so I can do it. And then it also gives us a new... It gives us a new ability in battle, which, I'll be honest, I'm probably not really going to use that much, just for the fact of, I'm not great at the timing. <laughs> That's the only, only reason. And now we can break panels that look like that. We can ground pound on them, so, obviously we have to try it here. Oh, bums. Not again. Ooh! A bad. <laughs> Greedy! Yeah! Ooh, charge. I believe that, I want to say charge just powers you up a little bit. Like, powers up your next attack. But I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it only works for the next attack, so I don't know why you wouldn't just attack twice. I mean, unless it's a tougher enemy, I understand in that case. Like, one with defense that you can't just straight up bash. Right, but in any case... I think that technically means Mario now does 6 damage with his standard jump attack. Oh, I just remembered there's also hidden panels on the ground. So, I just, I'm just gonna... I'll be honest, I'll be doing this a lot just to prove the point. Because I could, don't remember where any of them are. But yeah, there are hidden panels around in the... Like, around in the ground, just around the world. And where were they trapped? I don't remember where the punies were trapped. Ooh. Uh, what was over in this direction? Uh, maybe it was over in this direction? I don't remember. Right. But I know there was that other... Uh, there was a place that we could drop down to, like a tree stump. That I do remember. Aha. Oh, there we go. This is where the tree stump is. There we go. We need to head up down here, but... With that puny orb thing in place, we need to bring the punies with us. So let's round up the punies. Oh, come on. There we go, get that. Ooh, is there one of the panels around here, perhaps? No, okay, right. But what I think I'm going to do is end this episode here. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. And next time, we'll, we'll, we'll be freeing the punies. See you then.